The Michael Schenker Group is back with lots of guest stars this time. He's playing with former members of the bands Rainbow, Halloween, Primal Fear, amongst others. The album is called Universal. It was released on May 27th, 2022. This comes a little after a year from his last album that was called Immortal. Uh, that was released in the beginning of 2021. I actually reviewed that album um, as well, but this is kind of more the same. Lots of guitars, melodic rock, heavy metal, lots of guest vocalists, and lots of musicians. So we'll be talking about that in this video. So Michael Schenker has been playing music for the past 50 years. He uh, played with the band Scorpions at a very young age, and now he is 67 years old, and he doesn't really show any signs of quitting. His uh, band has had many different formations, like Macaulay Schenker Group, a Michael Schenker Fest, and he's also played with a UFO back in the 70s. His music is melodic hard rock and heavy metal. He has been an influence on many guitar players, so for example, Kirk and James from Metallica and Dave and Marty from Megadeth and so many others. So most of the vocals are done by uh, Ronnie Romero. This guy has been in so many different bands. Uh, it seems like he's like always releasing albums. He's famous for being like on Richie Blackmore's Rainbow, but also his own bands like Sunstorm and Lords of the Black, and they have both actually released albums recently. Some of the members he has are Barry Sparks, a bass player who has played with Michael and Ingve Malmsteen, amongst others. Simon Phillips, he's played with various rock bands in the 70s and 80s. Tony Carey, he was a keyboardist in the band Rainbow and part of their breakthrough album Rainbow Rising. Bob Daisley, he was a bass player with Ozzy Osbourne. Michael Kiske from Halloween. Ralph Sheepers, uh, the vocalist for Primal Fear. Brian Titchy, a uh, drummer for Whitesnake. And then there's Michael Volz. He played in a hard rock band from Germany called Mad Max in the 80s. And he does vocals on a few songs, and I think I covered them all. So the album has 13 songs, 52 minutes. I'm not going to do track by track, just talk about the ones that stood out for me. Probably the best song on the album is A King Has Gone. This is a tribute to Ronnie James Dio. The lyrics are very heartfelt, and they mention things like in the lyrics, talking about Gates of Babylon, Rainbow Rising, Heaven and Hell. It's a tribute to the late Ronnie James Dio, and that's what the song sounds like. It's a classic rainbow song from the 70s. This one is the one track with Michael Kiske and has Tony Carey, who I mentioned played on the Rainbow Rising album. And it does sound a lot like a classic rainbow song. Another one of good songs, also a single called Under Attack. This is what I like. It has like these like space science fiction lyrics and it kind of like matches the album cover. Just melodic rock and lots of those signature Michael Schenker guitar riffs. Keyboards in the background and a steady drum beat. If you like classic heavy metal, there's a song Emergency. This one opens with a classic heavy metal riff. Something that comes out of the 80s has a really heavy drum beat and melodic vocals. Ronnie Romero gives a really great vocal performance in this one. And a few uh, slower, more relaxing songs like uh, The Universe. This one has lots of neoclassical playing, reminding me of like Ingve Malmsteen. And the kind of song that paints a picture of like planets and galaxies. Another great melodic rock song. A song with Ralph Sheepers on vocals. That's Wrecking Ball. Straightforward heavy metal in the style of classic heavy metal bands. Maybe something like Judas Priest. Uh, straightforward guitar riffs. Nice drum beat. And the song is melodic as well. I like this one. I thought it was pretty good. Another song that reminds me of classic heavy metal is Yesterday is Dead. Another straightforward old school heavy metal song with melodic vocals. Another good song, London Calling. This is not a cover of the Clash song. This is a, an original. This has Michael Voss, reminds me a lot of old school 70s hard rock. Something along the lines of a like classic rainbow, that song is pretty cool. The lyrics uh, talk about uh, memories, they're like reminiscing about, you know, the old days playing music back in the 70s, you know, starting out in bands. It's a very uh, melodic song. And there are also songs with lots of like technical guitar riffing, you know, bringing back a uh, classic heavy metal sound. So an example of that is Sad is the song, this one has lots of guitar riffs. Some of the riffs have like a Middle Eastern feel, and this is another one that reminds me of classic 70s metal. The last song on the album is Fighter, another one that brings back that classic 70s hard rock and heavy metal style. It reminds me a lot of bands like Deep Purple and Rainbow. The song is very melodic. You can hear keyboards and guitars in the mix very well, and definitely a good song to end the album. So I think this album is pretty much like what you would expect from the Michael Schenker group. He has like so many albums, they're kind of hard to compare. 
I think I like this one a little better than the Immortal album from last year. I think this album feels more like a classic heavy metal album from the 70s, whereas Immortal was, I think, a little more of like, in, like a heavier album, maybe a little heavier, but I think this one is consistent. I enjoyed all the songs, type of album I could listen to over and over again, and for that reason, I'll give it an 8 out of 10. Thank <laughs> you.